Today, our behavior lesson will talk about foolishness and arrogance. I was visiting Pakistan at the beginning of this century, and when I finished my visit, my field visit, I went to the airport and it was a little bit late, Islamabad airport, and the security officer stopped me and asked me to open my Uh, bag or my suitcases to search through it. And I was very, very angry. Why only me? Why you only picked me among, amongst many, many people there? And I was shouting and I just ignored them. I took my briefcase and they left. This make people to be very surprised and astonished. How can you talk to a police officer in the airport in this way? So some of his colleagues came after me and trying to cool me down and told me, sir, this is his duty. And they cooled me down and they let them to do what they have to do as their duty. No, this is wrong, wrong, wrong. In another, another visit to Albania in 1998, 1999, I was in the car with my colleague, uh, Tariq, uh, who was the country director of Islamic Leaf at the time there. And we were standing in a queue, long queue, long car queues. And a young man came with a four-wheel drive and was running very fast and bypassing all of us to be in the front of a, the queue. I was very furious, very angry for his behavior, and they went out to shout at him in Arabic, and sorry, in English, and they shouted back to me in, in Albania, which I didn't understand what he was talking about. So this led my colleague, Tariq, to come out and shout at him in Albanian, telling him, if you ever touch the, the doctor, I will sort you out. And uh, the, the, the issue was sorted out by actually uh, uh, يعني, uh, يعني reconciling together. In, 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 in a country which does not, didn't have a law or, or, or at that time, and of course, the Albanian uh, young man was victorious on me. What did we learn from this? First of all, foolishness and arrogancy and anger is wrong. You have to control, and I have control myself if I was exposed to such things anywhere. Number two is actually uh, being inferior or superior. Uh, sometime when you go to visit a poor country that actually your organization or yourself are helping them, you think that you should have a privilege, you should have an exceptional treated, treatment in the airport because you bring this kind of goods to them. But it's wrong as well. Why? Because whatever we bring to them, it does not belong to me. It belongs to Allah and to the donors and to the people. And I, I have to realize that my salary from my organization is paid through, through the money of those people, the poor people in this country. So I have to show a great respect and great dignity for them, not actually to have an exceptional treatment. The number three is the ignorance of the local, the local culture and the new social structure of such, especially in the case of Albania. At the time in Albania, it was controlled by thugs or ring leaders or what we call them, uh, bad, bad and armed groups uh, uh, from those actually outlaws. And if at that time, with my reaction, this young man decided to shoot at me, I could have been dead, me and my colleague, because there was no, there was no law and order. That, and this was actually the people who, who listened to the discussion between me and the man told me later on. So what we learned from there, you have to be lenient, You have to be patient. You have to be wise when you deal with situation like this. With something which does not anger the other people. Actually, and in the inferiority and superiority complex issue, I asked myself a question later on. If I was in a European airport or American airport or even some of the Arab airports and the behavior of the police officer or security officer in the airport was like this man in in uh, in islamabad will i have could i have been reacting badly as that of course no of course no of course no so for people like myself and like you we have to learn from our mistakes and we have to admit our mistakes and we have to correct our mistakes we have to be carefully dealing with others even if we knew that the others are wrong and are right assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi